In fact, it was uh, two people who the American authorities uh, listed for their uh, sanction regime. On this, we will issue our reaction to this specific step uh, later today or tomorrow. But uh, in general, I can take, I can remind you, or I can recall the statement of the EU27 or of the uh, High Representative uh, Jose Borrell on behalf of EU27 from the uh, 16th of July on the occasion on, of the Day of International Criminal Justice, which was on the 17th of July, where we, the European Union, the 27 member states, the European Union basically agreed to state that uh, the EU reiterates its commitment to uphold and defend the principles and values enshrined in the Rome Statute and the support of the EU for the International Criminal Court. The situation in the world nowadays is that uh, we are still witnessing crimes against humanity, we are still witnessing uh, crimes which continue to be perpetuated, and it, it's really necessary that the justice is done in the international uh, scope. The International Criminal Court is facing persistent external challenges and the European Union stands firm against all attempts to undermine the international system of uh, criminal justice by hindering the work of its core institutions and the International Criminal Court is one of the key institutions of the international justice. And we are committed to strengthen our support to, to ICC because this is the key factor in fighting against impunity. So we are standing by the ICC and uh, we are not happy to see steps which are going against the activities of the ICC. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Can I have a follow-up? Go ahead, Patricia. Go ahead, Patricia. Thank you. Um, but basically, are you going to do something concretely on this? Thank you. Depends what you, ha what you have in mind. Uh, you know that the EU in general is uh, rejecting the extraterritoriality of uh, sanctions adopted by third parties, by third states. So, of course, we don't agree with this step. And what we do, the European Union uh, over a long period already is making consistent outreach with partners worldwide, worldwide in order to support the ICC, so encouraging states to to participate, to join, to ratify and implement the Rome Statute of the ICC. And uh, if you have in mind concretely the United States, we are making outreach towards the United States also. Uh, our delegation in Washington is, uh, has made our concerns known uh, already. You know that the decision from yesterday was announced a few weeks before, so there was also a statement from our side on this. So we conveyed our concerns regarding this to the American authorities, and we, ha we are having ongoing dialogue with them on this. And uh, we are concerned about the growing use of sanctions, the threats of sanctions, and uh, we are conveying the importance of fighting against impunity when it comes to the interna international justice. There are being crimes committed on the worldwide scale that need to be prosecuted, and the ICC, from the EU's point of view, is the key actor in delivering on bringing the justice. Thank you, Peter. Let us continue um, on the issue of international relations, in particular this issue. Are there other questions for Peter on this specific issue? 